It's been a while since I've cooked in my own kitchen and as nostalgic as it may be with the original team behind the lens, it's time to cook something totally soul satisfying and comforting. Today I'm going to create a tenderloin stir fry, twisted Asian influences with South India coming right in. Don't forget to subscribe and hit on the bell icon as we get to creating it. Now it does call for a lot of the favorites. So my favorite cast iron and you guys know I love this pan. In goes a nice slathering of some extra virgin olive oil, nearly 30 to 40 mils. And while it gets nice and hot, we're going to infuse it with South Indian flavor. So some green chilies, some garlic and lots of heat from ginger. Swish and allow it to burnish and brown. And into this, now I'm going to add this gorgeous South Indian leaf. That's the beautiful, 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 beautiful curry leaves. Allow that to infuse into the oil. Earthy aromas bang in my kitchen along with some shallots just slid into half. Now as the shallots get slightly pink in colour, it's time to take some shredded tenderloin and dunk it in. Swish and stir away. Here comes the Asian influence with some Szechuan pink peppercorn sea salt. A good, good sprinkling. Now the trick here is when you are inducting two cuisines into a single pan, you want umami of flavor. So in goes some dark brown demerara sugar to balance it all really well. About a tablespoon, not too much. And now any Asian ready to use stir fry sauce goes in. You can go hot chili, you can go uh, oyster, you can go anything that's readily available. Swish and stir. Now I want to indulge this with some steam rice, so switch off the flame, let that gravy work its magic and then put a bunch of some spring greens right into it. A quick stir and a soul satisfying decadent Asian meets Indian influence stir fry is ready. Mm -hmm. 